quarterback, super easy to cover. Um, you got the man, the myth, um, Josh Allen. Obviously had another great year, despite it not feeling like it at times. Um, another year where, especially in the beginning of the year, where we were putting up these McDonald's numbers, but it, it just didn't feel right. Um, I think towards the tail end of the season, it, it started feeling like that more dangerous offense again. Um, obviously, he's not going anywhere. We love that. He's been great. I'll sign up for another 10 years of that. Um, backup quarterback was Kyle Allen. This is um, this continues to be kind of a hard spot for me to evaluate because very fortunately, we haven't really seen Josh miss, miss a ton of time um, you know, since I believe it was his rookie year with the with the shoulder sprain. Um, maybe it was his second year. Um, but we bring in these backup quarterbacks and I get excited or upset about it, whatever the case is. And then we don't really ever see them play. So I don't, I never know how right or wrong I was. And I, I like to know that. Um, Kyle Allen, I liked having him in the building just with the relationship that he has with Josh. Um, I think it's super important at this point in Josh's career that to me, it's not so much about like the veteran in the room or anything like that, you know, helping him break down defenses and all that. That's Josh. Now. Um, I don't think he really needs that guy anymore. I think it's more just, you know, the, just the guys in the room during practice, you know, the whole vibe of it, the, and that's why I'm cool with, you know, Kyle Allen being there, even if he's really only there because he's buddies with Josh Allen. Um, but he is a free agent this season. My plan here would be a wholly different approach than what we've been doing. And honestly, I think we have enough of a track record right now of how Bean's done it. And it's kind of worked out just fine for him because we haven't had to lean on any of these guys. Um, but uh, I'm sorry, Bean has been kind of cool with rolling out one year deals to guys and just, you know, it seeming to me seems like he has a few guys that he's willing to target. And it's kind of, you know, as as these higher priced backups go throughout the league that like, you know, might get a chance to start or kind of like the bridge quarterbacks are going for a team that might be taking a rookie quarterback. He kind of like takes the one that's left over from there and gets them on a cheap deal. And hopefully we don't really have to see them play for me. I would love to see just a, a late round pick with a guy with some physical tools, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh round, something like that. We kind of did that with Jake from a few years back and he didn't end up sticking around for very long. Um, but just, I'm not talking about a guy that's ever really going to be pushing for Josh Allen or anything. Um, I want to see one of these guys with just like some sort of tremendous physical ability. And, you know, they go in the seventh round because they didn't have a cannon arm or they're not super accurate, but they're, you know, an athletic freak. And on the on the chance that Josh Allen ever goes down, you at least have this kind of type of variance that you can throw throw at a team. Um, if you're running the standard Bills offense and Kyle Allen has to come into the game, it's not going to look the same anyways. Um, so I, for me, I would love to see, you know, a curveball be in play if, if it comes down to it. And um, I think about a guy like, um, oh, his name's slipping me right now. He's the the backup in Baltimore, um, where a couple of years ago Lamar goes down and he comes into the game. I think it was Huntley, um, and Lamar goes down. And it's all of a sudden like, oh hey, man, they're about to be cooked. And then dude comes in. He's this physical freak, and um, you know, didn't quite look the same as what Lamar was doing out there, but was able to move the offense in a different way. And and that's kind of what I'm looking for out of this position. And then it's, it also has the benefit of this is this can become a position that we don't have to talk about every year. 
of do we have to make a change here or whatever. I don't need the guy to be a superstar in the making. Just give me a, a backup quarterback on a rookie deal that can be around Allen, learning from Allen, learning the system, you know, just always preparing to, to go in if they have to. And, and just give me some continuity in that room. If you want to keep a guy like Kyle Allen, you know, it was Matt Barkley for a while, you know, somebody to just be in the room with Josh, that's fine. Um, give me it as his quarterback's coach. Give me it as the third stringer that's going to be on the practice squad all year and probably won't ever see them, but they get to be around Josh in the building and in the meeting rooms, all that. Um, for a guy that has the possibility of playing at some point, um, I would love this to be something where we don't have to have whatever, three, $4 million tied up in the backup quarterback. Like I said, kind of a late round flyer on somebody with some tools that you can have in the building for a while. 